Welcome to Baxter Bell Yoga. I'm Baxter Bell. I have three quick requests for you and then we'll get right into our video practice for today. Number one, please check out my website, baxterbell.com, where you can find access to my online yoga classes. You can find opportunities to dive deeper into your yoga learning and you can find more free content. Number two, please reach out to me personally at Baxter at BaxterBell.com if you'd like to set up a one-on-one -on -one session to improve your overall yoga practice or if you'd like to address any health issues that you have with yoga therapy. Number three, if you enjoy this video and you find it helpful, please like it when you're done. That would be really helpful. So that's it. Let's uh, take a look at what our practice for today is. So I'm excited today to share with you a dynamic version of forearm plank. I have two previous videos, one showing forearm plank done on its own and another one showing forearm downward facing dog done on its own. Today we're going to vacillate back and forth between these two shapes to create this dynamic sequence. Forearm plank is a really great way to strengthen the upper body and also the core and a forearm dog is a great way to also open the shoulders and get all the great benefits of downward dog that you would normally get if your hands were on the floor. And the nice thing about doing it on forearms is that you have access to these two shapes, the plank shape and the down dog shape, without stressing out the wrists or the hands if those are areas that are sensitive for you. So it's a nice alternative for folks who can't actually do those other variations very easily. Um, I'm going to have a blanket for my knees just when we start off, but once you get moving, you won't need that. And you can work with the distance between your elbows and your feet depending on your level of flexibility. I tend to have some tightness in the back of my legs, so I'll be a little further apart, but you could have your feet in closer if you wanted. Just make sure that you can comfortably uh, move in and out with the shoulders. Now, because we are doing forearm dog, and for some people that have tightness in the shoulders, it can be challenging. Instead of having the forearms parallel, I much prefer either palms together in prayer position or fingers interlaced and the outside pinky tucked inside the cup of the hands on the ground um, uh, to uh, allow the shoulders to have a little more neutral movement as you go up and down. So just keep that in mind as you're setting yourself up if you're used to teachers who have taught you to have the arms parallel. Um, so the other thing, uh, I think that's it. Let's go ahead and give this a try. Um, I'm gonna come down into the all fours position for a moment. And just because I've got my little microphone on here and I don't want my mic to drop into my mouth, I'm gonna tuck my shirt in a little bit so you can see this a little more easily. So again, to set up for the forearm plank, we take our hands forward. I bring my shoulders forward and place my elbows where my hands or wrists were. And then again, palms together or interlacing the fingers, adjust the shoulders so they're, uh, the elbows, I'm sorry, so they're about shoulder distance apart. And then turn your toes under and for a moment, come into the forearm plank. Remember in forearm plank, it's the whole forearm pressing down into the floor, not just the elbows that you want to access. And then let the breastbone lift, energize the legs. And then on an exhale, you can bend your knees a little bit if you want the first time. You're going to lift up and back towards the forearm dog. As you come into forearm dog, make sure the head floats off the floor and doesn't rest on the floor. Press the whole forearm down and forward and lift the hips up and back. Again, the knees can be a little bit bent or the legs can be straight. And then as you inhale, bring the shoulders again over the elbows. Let the hips drop down so the body's parallel with the floor. You can look underneath your body to get a sense of that. And then exhale, take it up and back to the down dog. So now let's move dynamically. That's our purpose today. Inhale coming forward smoothly. And exhale smoothly going back. Inhale coming forward smoothly. And exhale smoothly taking it back. Do that four more times starting now. Follow your breath. Try not to rush. Try to have an awareness of your alignment so that you're coming into that nice forearm plank for a moment and then exhaling back towards a forearm dog for a moment. One or two more repetitions to complete this set. Inhaling into forearm plank. Exhaling into forearm downward facing dog. Now, let's bend the knees down. Let's walk the hands back towards the knees and swing around and just come to whatever comfortable sitting position is right for you. I often like to just gently rub the forearms and elbows after I do that in case there was any soreness in those areas. It's kind of an unusual way to, to uh, allow yourself to be in a position uh, that uh, puts all that weight on the forearms if you're not used to it. So give that area a nice little release. 
and then maybe just sit for a moment. Notice the amount of residual activity in the upper body and the chest area. It's one of Mingus the Cat's favorite little sequences. <laughs> He's been joining me a lot for both classes and videos lately, and uh, I'm sure he'll be looking forward to seeing you the next time. So thank you for joining me. Try that out in your home practice today. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and YouTube at Baxter Bell Yoga. Join me for a live streaming class sometime soon, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Thanks, everyone. Namaste. Thanks, buddy.